right. We're back at ringside. You know, all kinds of wrestling action will be on the card Friday night at Chill Howie Park Arena. Tommy Gilbert asked for a match against Dandy Jack Donovan, who turned on Gilbert last night, left the ring after... Turn that over and be quiet a minute. I've got a little something I want to tell you. Oh, I don't doubt that. How come you've got my chair run down so low? You've got it run down low trying to make... I don't handle chairs, line. Ron. I don't you have a thing to do with it. Put yours down there a little bit. That's I want to tell you something. Let me tell you. I took that loud mouth, dumb old dromo down there last night. I whooped that man to the point that they had to send eight rafters and John Kazana and all the police in the building in there and hold me and pull me off of him. And that goes to show you what a, what kind of man that he come out here and bragged that he was, what he was going to do to me. It looks like the thing got turned around okay. down there. Sign right over there. Ron well, Rod is like Castor no Oil. What that sign <laughs> says. I took that man down there and whooped him so bad, humiliated the man when I got him tied down to where he couldn't run from me, that he got the worst whooping that he's ever had put up on in his life, probably in the whole history of his wrestling career down there. You didn't I get a whooping. I shamed him. No, I didn't get a whooping. What? You see any bruise marks on me this morning? I didn't see any on Dromo. Well, you ought to see him. He's down there this morning beat up and looks so bad he's ashamed he even come up here and face this TV out at your own TV. Well, it appeared to me his like the both of you got on, on the referee. Right cheek and his left thigh swell plumb shut. You tell me that he didn't get whooped and beat up down there. I'd say the referee got that whooped by both of you. That's just to show you how well that referee's not got no business of getting up there and sticking his nose in my match. Bill Dromo, he asked for that match. I, man that I am, went down there and accepted it. And what business has a referee got down there sticking his nose in it, trying to stop a match, telling me that I can't do this and that's illegal. When did all the man ought have done come down there and bought himself a ringside ticket Sat down there and minded his manners like the rest of them fans done left me alone. You through? No, I'm not well, through. Well, you wouldn't run I'm it. just a sitting there waiting for you to open that big mouth again <laughs> so I can tell you to shut up. You come down here, all you know to do is sit down here and lie. I don't know why the people down here don't get up a petition and have you fired from down here. They ought to fire you and run you from off the TV hill. Hire me and take your place and give me your job. Hey, I do a 10 hey, to 1 better job at it than you do. It ain't me that got suspended. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you trying to get old Big Jim fired and you got fired last night, old buddy. <laughs> What's this mouth, mouth net we're talking about? You and Dromo both got suspended. That right there's the man that did it, and you're fine too, buddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I called the commission last night, and I recommended that he be suspended for 15 days and a $100 fine. Right. You better mouth net. No, wait a minute. <laughs> to have me suspended. The only man that can spend me is a commission, buddy. When you're in that ring, you're going to do what I tell you to, when I tell you to. No, you don't don't do it. Me. You me, you Would you like to make it a thousand dollars? Huh? And a what year suspension? Yeah, now we're going to go to a year and a thousand dollars. You just on 50. You know what I tell you to, when I tell you to, and you're in that rap comment that I hadn't been told that they've come and suspended me. This is the he first told, time. He told you last night. He told he you last night. He didn't tell me nothing. I did. Night. You didn't tell me I put it right on that PA speaker. Loud mouth. Let me tell you something. These loud mouth idiot referees, they're low down from diving. Don't stand there and tell me to wait a minute. I'll smack you from across the ring. Go ahead there. if you feel Just because they put a referee shirt on and hide behind them white and yellow and black stripes, they ought to be yellow stripes because yellow's all you are. Y'all eat none of you nothing but a bunch of yellow belly knit with. Before you let your mouth run out, you put your hand on this man one time, he can suspend you for one year and fine you a thousand dollars. You want to go for it? Hit him. Here I am. Right here. Are you doing? You let his face on the mouth. No part behind me. Oh, brother. There he was. Ron Wright strikes again. <laughs> what, what I think now, he, he's getting me on a technicality there. He said you didn't say anything about the smack. Uh, I, I don't know what would the results of this will be, but uh, Brunson does have... I want that man back out here, and I want to get on the telephone to the commission and see if I can get him a one-year suspension you know and a $1,000 fine. Hey, how, how, would you, how would you like to wrestle him? Right, right, that's the style. Oh! 
We don't. We don't have another referee. Unless, unless you're capable of referee. What about you? I, I, I can't do it anymore. My license ran out. Well, I'm I mean, in this case, it ran out real quick. <laughs> well, I don't know. If you're gonna go talk a while. I don't need a referee. Just bring your muscle. You don't even want a referee. You don't need a referee. You bring it up in the ring. That's right. Suits me if it suits you, John. What did Ron say? Go find it. Go find it. But no, technically, though, you, he's been suspended in Knoxville, you said, so he can't wrestle. You'd be going against your own rules. You, you suspended him for 15 days in Knoxville. If he were to get in that ring now, you and I would both be in trouble along with him. Well, I didn't suspend him anywhere but not so I can get him somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I? you can have him anywhere else. All right, give him to me somewhere else. How about then? tonight? That'll be fine. That'll be Good fine. Deal. You can have him. That'll be fine. So, so tonight down in Lenore City, that's the way it's going to be. We're going to have Brunson and Ron Wright. Boy, I tell you, things are popping around this place. Let's break for this word. We'll be back. Wolf Dairies presents the Generation Gap. We're gonna sing it loud and clear, night and clear. Oh, it's a good feeling, happy time song for you. Bravo, Dairies Milk. It puts a smile on your face and you're coming to, coming to that Wolf Dairies Milk. There's no Generation Gap with delicious Wolf Dairies Milk. Throughout the years, they've been first with quality and freshness. Now they tell it like it is, with a printed date on top of every carton. It clearly shows theirs is the freshest milk available. Drink delicious Wolf Dairy's milk, up front of all the others. Oh, it's a good feeling, happy time song for you. From Wolf Dairy's milk, with such a smile on your face, and you're coming to, coming to that Wolf Dairy's milk. It's a real money saver from Gateway Furniture. Enjoy the convenience of a five-drawer chest and a triple dresser with twin mirrors. Dream on a queen-size bed. Feel the Milan Pecan finish. All this elegance for just $347. This Meloso bedroom suit from Bassett regularly sells for $499.95. You save over $150 during the sale. See for yourself at Gateway Furniture in beautiful downtown Marysville. There's a bell now, and it looks like Sam Bass is uh, talking to the referee about something. Now they're getting ready to collide here. In the referee's holy goal, Tommy Gilbert and Sam Bass getting back into the... And watch these warp your head off, folks. Coming in here from Sam Bass, Gilbert up in the corner. And a rabbit punch there to the back puts uh, Gilbert down, and another warp 